Fox Valley voice. Are we recording? Oh, shit. One, two, three. Well, hello. And welcome. Yes, welcome. <laughs> that was an oddly... <laughs> Yes, welcome. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering why I've gathered you here today. <laughs> I want to play a game with you. <laughs> Is it all of the best, like, horror movie or Bond villain opening lines? Vincent Price. <laughs> or Vincent Price. House on Haunted Hill, the original, was probably my favorite. Yeah. Oh, God, the banter between him and his wife. Oh, God, it was so good. <laughs> Believable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That oh god, that snarkiness. That's so good. <laughs> so yes, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, we're here at Beards Guard after dark for another episode of Away from the Chair. Because we missed December due to just an abundance of scheduling issues. Mm-hmm. December's a bad month to try and do things. There's so much happening. It's like, well, can can we squeeze can we squeeze it into the I don't know. Maybe. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> December is just like an off month for like all social activity. Like now nah, I'm busy with work and family. That's it. That's all I got. Yep. Everything's scheduled way ahead of time. Oh yeah. Like my next December is already full. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blocking it out right now. <laughs> the schedule in poops. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So... <laughs> Do you want to try? So, I have my Krampus knocked meat here that I have yes. been hoarding for what six months now. Has it been that long? I don't know. I don't mm. remember when I brewed it. Well, the the last time I saw it was after Thanksgiving. When oh, we it were, was already brewed way before then. But yeah, it was already done. Yeah, so you've been talking about it mm. for months. Months. I you know what? Actually, I brewed it in December. That's right. I mean, not December, uh, September. 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 Uh, I bottled it last month, so it's been okay. sitting in my house. All right. But uh, it's my new concoction that I'm trying to set as my staple holiday brew. Okay. It is my um, my version of a German mold wine, which is basically like, it's very traditional in Bavaria and stuff in Germany, mold wine. Yeah. So it's a mead version of that. Neat. And it's dark as shit. <laughs> it looks like blood. Yeah. And I'm well, excited. You should have seen it when I first put it in the in the fermenter. It looked black. Oh, cool. Like your t-shirt. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, crap is knocked. I mean, yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got uh elderberry, blackberry, which is the, the, the main berry I used, uh more blackberries than elderberry. And then uh, it's got a base of black currant tea in the Ooh. water. So it adds a nice, nice flavor to it. That sounds delightful. Yeah. And then my own mold spice which, uh, mix, which I did twice. Mm-hmm. Twice throughout it. Okay. Yeah. So you ready to try this? I am very ready to try this. All right. We're here with Barbara Dutch, by the way. In case you didn't know. Yeah, get get the sound on that. <laughs> it looks like a, like a very like a deep red brandy. I have to pee now. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that before. I did. God. So how long have you been making mead? Uh, Two years. Okay. Maybe three. Uh, I kind of did it off and on. It was um, kind of just like a whatever hobby for a little while. And then, um, I don't know, the last uh, year I just really kicked into high gear and it's become a really strong passion of mine. Okay. Okay. Go. Uh, which one? Oh yes, every, everybody gets a glass. 
Cheers. Skål. Skål. Ooh. How's that going down? That is smooth. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the, the current tea comes in. Does it? On oh, the back yeah. end. It's good. Yeah. This is one of my proudest brews. This is fantastic. <laughs> now, I've, I've been lucky enough to try a few of the meads that you've made. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think my favorite so far has been the Braggot. Oh, yeah. The Braggot was... Ooh. It was really good. Which I titled Brocky's Braggerful. <laughs> Because he is uh, the he is the god of poetry. Oh yeah. And of course, a braggerful was something that a scald would do. Just kind of hold court, as it were. Not not in a court sense, but just you know, telling stories and poems and oh yes, yeah, so you know, recounting. Braggy was the keeper of the stories. Yeah. So much so that he had uh, runes engraved on his tongue. Ooh. That would give him special, what you call gab powers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a plus four to speaking. <laughs> like Skyrim, plus four speechcraft. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a belated Yule podcast, apparently. Yeah, belated Yule slash new, welcoming the new year, mm-hmm. which is still kind of part of Yule. Yes. It was a... Winter solstice. Yeah. That was their new year. It, it makes peak. sense. Yeah. To me. It's like, yeah, like this is the longest or not, yeah, longest day of dark mm-hmm. before the light comes back. Especially near the Arctic Circle where they were. Yeah. It just got really dark. <laughs> they have like 30 days of night. That's a movie, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that dark. <laughs> that's Alaska. That's like at the top. That's, of the that's way there. up there. Oh yeah. Well, then they have like, isn't it? There like a week where the sun doesn't dip below the horizon at all. That I know for sure because uh, I my parents went to Alaska and they told me they were there for two weeks and the sun never went down. That's weird. It, would it got freak to me out. Sun set and then it went back up. That's weird. That, that, that would mess with my head. Couldn't sleep. No. Al Pacino was in a movie about that. <laughs> <laughs> Never get any sleep. God damn it. <laughs> 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 catch this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the it was the villain in that one? Wasn't it Robin Williams? Yeah. Oh yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> it, was a, it was a dark role. Well, he Surprisingly, comedians always play the best, darkest characters. I believe it. Mm -hmm. Nobody battles depression like a comedian. No. (laughs) They embrace it. Mm -hmm. Life is pain. (laughs) Life is pain. (laughs) So did you have a good Yule this season? I did. Uh, we We got to hang out with all the family in a timely, non insane way. <laughs> Good. So uh, luckily we, we can like break it up between uh my folks and the in laws. Uh, got away for a little bit too, took a little little jaunt down to southern Illinois. Oh that's right. You uh you went down to the Garden of the Gods. Garden of the Gods. It's beautiful. It's so fitting. It is. <laughs> Apparently there are several Garden of the Gods in uh the United States. So some people were a little confused. Huh. And it was uh, what national forest? Uh, Shawnee National Forest. Shawnee, that's right. Yeah. Honey, uh, met Bigfoot. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where, where there's a Bigfoot statue, and we're like, oh, let's go and take some pictures by the Bigfoot statue. It'll be fun for our you know, Instagrams and stuff like that. And as we're walking up, there's a guy... In a full Bigfoot costume. Just hanging just, out. Just hanging out. Well, he, he's doing his own little YouTube thing. Oh, okay. And sees me and Natalie walk up <laughs> wearing blaze orange vests. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. 
oh shit, <laughs> people. <laughs> well, much less like dressed like hunters. Yeah, and he's wearing nothing but a full body suit of fur. <laughs> Like, was your, was your first a moment of Chewy, terror. not Bigfoot? <laughs> I mean, yeah. He basically is Bigfoot. Absolutely. Yep. I would prefer Wookiees to mm. Bigfoot. Yep. If if one or the other is real, I want Wookiees to be real. They, they seem a little more sociable. You know, they have they have roles. They can do jobs. You know. Yeah. It'd be really funny if he was like taking like just random people walking up and he would just kind of walk up and like with a selfie stick and start taking <laughs> pictures of himself. That would be great. Oh, that needs to happen. <clears throat> that needs to happen. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I had a good season too. I, I got to fly home. You, yeah. And I got to spend five days back in California. Nice. With my family. That was really nice. Did they know you were coming back? No, they did not. Not yeah. all of them. My mom and my uh, niece and nephew did not, which was awesome. My friend Tim picked us up from the airport, and we hung out kind of around uh, San Dimas and stuff until like I think like one or something. And then my dad, <laughs> my dad loves to lie to my mom. It's one of his favorite <laughs> passions. So he was telling her that some big package was being delivered. To the house. So we call, we call him. He's like, okay, we're out front. He's like, all right. And he opens the door and he's, he's pretending like it's a delivery man. He's like, hey, come on in, Alejandro. Put, put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're standing in front of the Christmas tree. And then uh, my mom and the kids come around the corner. And I've never seen my mom react like that. I was just like, oh my what God. What was her reaction? Just like immediate wall of tears. Oh, yeah. Just, I don't understand a word she was saying. <laughs> yeah, it was very, it was really nice. And I got to see the the rest of my friends. And we did our own uh, Yule ritual at the house on Saturday. It was a little late, a little after the actual solstice, but it's still really nice. Because Yule is three days, not 12. Most people don't know that. Right. That's actually... There's a, there's a lot of things about Yule that people do know, which is great that, mm-hmm. that like the awareness is out there but yeah like talk tell tell us more about yule about yule yeah uh well yule as most people don't really know what it is yule was the traditional winter solstice celebration for germanic tribes which would be the norse the anglo-saxons the saxons pretty much yeah uh the frisians you know all the all the germanic tribes celebrated the winter solstice they were a solstice type of society. So they would celebrate midwinter, midsummer. They had um, a lot of little ones in between, but those are the two main ones. And Yule was the biggest one. Yeah. Yule was the biggest one because it was, you know, something to do in the dead of winter. It was just, yeah. when it's too cold to really do anything else. Mm-hmm. That's when the feasting happened because it was after harvest and you had to slaughter livestock to thin the herd. And so everybody would eat really good and, you know, it's a time to uh, pay tribute to ancestors, and it's just great. <laughs> so basically, okay. for us, it's a chance to get together, and um, you know, we have our ritual, and then uh, we usually do a sambal afterwards. A sambal is like, um, kind of like a round of dinner toasts, really. Okay. For us, and we do it usually around the fire after. Kind of what after ritual, what which people is do at like a Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like everybody goes around and yeah, pretty much a little little something. Yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of what it has been for us, and it's not usually done outdoors, but we do it outdoors and then burn a sun wheel as a tribute to Suna, the go- the goddess of the sun, to return. Yeah, because by that point, everyone's done with winter. Oh yeah, <laughs> bring well, it back. Winters last long up there. <clears throat> I, I oh yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Winter's lasting a little long up here, too. I'm enjoying it. I'm not used to this. Exactly. I, no, like two weeks ago when it snowed heavy and like I go outside and there's like like at least two or three inches of snow piled on top of my car. It was like Christmas, man. <laughs> but I was out there for an hour shoveling the driveway. Brushing it off. Brushing it off. 
Then after That's like half an hour, I'm part. like, fuck this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was right. It does suck. <laughs> yeah. It, I took like pictures and everything before I did it. So oh, of course yeah. it like, I love winter for the aesthetic purpose. It's like, aesthetic, yeah, like, winter yeah, looks like... great. <laughs> But then when you have to deal with the shoveling and salting and the salting, oh my god, yeah, that is it's uh, real. That is a necessity. I don't usually do it on my driveway because I don't like to get salt in the house, but on the roads, man. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do donuts getting out of my freaking house. <laughs> I was swirling and stuff all over the road the other day. And it's like, why didn't you salt, you bastards? <laughs> that was funny. You're thinking on on the the topic of you know the the end of the year and then coming back up, working into New Year's and uh, preparing for the next lead up to Yule. Like, do you find that you you like to have like a goal in mind for each year? Like, not like a New Year's resolution because I I think those are silly and it's played out and yes. Definitely. Yeah. Because resolutions, they, like everybody's like, no, nah, I'm going to do this. And they're really gung ho for like three months and it just <laughs> drops off. I, and I've done it too. So I, I just stopped. So it's known as gym season. Oh yeah. <laughs> All the gyms drop their rates. I'm like come, come sign up, get a People membership for, for like for $10. Weeks and they're on the treadmill like, <gasps> screw this. I want the ham. <laughs> you can still have the ham. <laughs> you can if you're on a low carb diet I lost a lot of weight doing that But yeah. I've gained it back <laughs> These diets don't work They do work if you stick to them It's a lifestyle <laughs> Do <What> juice <laughs> Do juice I'm not into that stuff man. <laughs> oh my god Juice you can get, like, That your, was a good your one Vitamix. <laughs> what? You Get your Vitamix I used to do that. I used to have um, uh, a shake I would drink every morning that was like just protein made out of vegetables and shit. <laughs> it worked though. What? That's basically what goes with low carb diet. You know, just eat a lot of meat, a lot of cheese and vegetables. It's awesome. Like fuck all these people with their fucking chicken and their like weird food. No, man, just steak, steak and cauliflower. It's like a 40 ounce steak and a head of cauliflower that, That's what I picture <laughs> Sometimes I felt like spending a little bit I'll get some ribeye Ooh, I mostly yeah. just buy a skirt steak Yeah Fry one up on the barbecue man For the little vegetables And I did that every night Like fajitas Fajitas I miss fajitas <laughs> They still exist in Chicagoland No they don't Yes they do they you can just make fajitas. <laughs> I've never actually made fajitas. What? No. It's carne asada was a big thing, though. Okay. That's something I cannot find out here. Really? Just like carne asada as I know it, which is basically marinated skirt steak chopped up. Yeah. For some reason, I can't find it. It's well, always like some, some other name. Uh, I'm sure you find it. <laughs> you'll, you're you going to get buy, bombed you can buy with it in like later. every market. You know, you could buy like pounds of it and just, oh, it's already marinated. Just cook it up on the barbecue. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What? I'm just like burned out. <laughs> this whole. I think we're all burned out. Like the last month, I think, has is, is sapped so much energy from me between. Uh, just working and all the projects coming up. We'll drink to that. Yeah. Hey, cheers. Yeah. Skull. <laughs> uh, I love, uh, I love finishing a Yule season now with yeah. uh, hanging out with my friends and stuff. Cause it's really like a rejuvenating thing for me. Like, yeah, I'm going to kick ass this next year. I'm going to do something good. And get back into the swing of things. Yeah, definitely. Kick it off, clear out all the clutter. I have a lot so of So to shit. speak. <laughs> I have to do that again now, which is not fun. <laughs> Throw away even more shit. Maybe I should 
take my DVD collection down to three boxes instead of five? Because <laughs> I just never unpack them. <laughs> just mail them. Just send them back. Mail them. <laughs> my God. Ship Mailing's, it. Mailing's too expensive. Well, yeah, when you have a bunch of stuff. He's like, oh, you want to send a letter to your grandma? That's six dollars. <laughs> Just pick up the phone and call her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Be on the phone for four hours. No, no, I do. I call her once in a while. That oh, uh, I showed um, I showed everybody my my Oma left me a message on my phone and I showed everybody because she just like because <laughs> she's she is from Holland so she has like that's oh. the typical. European grandma voice and it's hilarious. Hello, Nick. I just want to say hello. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, she's amazing. She's funny too. She's uh God, what seventy eight? I don't know, man. She's, she's lived still... through World War II and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. She's yeah, my my grandparents are in their like mid to late eighties. Oh, I had I had my my last great grandma died at ninety four. Seven. Damn. Oh, dude, my mom's side of the family they lived to like almost a hundred. Cool. <laughs> Strong genes. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, this brew. Yeah. Was it better than the braggot, or you think it's the braggot still better? I still like the braggot more. But I, I like this a lot. Five gallons of that at my house. Can I have some? <laughs> I'm gonna give you like a whole gallon. That's because <laughs> like I brilliant. Of it. I'll give you some too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just yeah, I don't know why good. I just like I've never made five gallons before, and then now I'm like I don't know what to do with it because <laughs> I I give more of my meat away than I actually drink. Yeah. Because I I drink too much, it's it's still a lot of residual sugar sometimes. So it like, as you saw at Scott's house, uh, yeah, yeah, it gets a little, it gets a little too much, a lot of sugar. <laughs> oh, what what did you call it? A slow hug from the inside. Yeah, because it's it is the most different kind of drunk you've ever felt in your life. Yeah, it, <laughs> I would I would equate it to. Uh, Like a cross between wine and brandy. Wine and brandy. All right. It's, it's got that, it, you know, a little bit more than the wine, but you're not like giggly. <laughs> giggly. <laughs> giggly. <laughs> but you just, you, you feel like all warm and happy and fuzzy and you just want to hug everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that like, that's what it's lot. like. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hey, friend, <laughs> you need to try this. I'm looking forward to uh, my meat. Ah, that's that right. Yes. They we helped. collaborated on a meat together. Yes, we did. And it Still was. Still sitting. Cotton candy grapes and. Peach green tea. Peach or peach white tea. tea. Peach white tea. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited for that one. When did we brew that? October. Oh, man. That's got to be good. At least, yeah. at least two months, you know. I mean, you, you can drink it right after you're done with it if it's cleared out, but at least two months of waiting. Yeah, it's been a few. So I, I think maybe uh, by the end of either this month or sometime, maybe maybe in February, I'll, I'll get it all bottled up. Have it ready for Valentine's Day. Ah, you gotta Ooh. give me a bottle of that. Absolutely. Though we should have a party. We'll have a big tasting party because we'll do five a, gallons. There's going to be a lot of it. <laughs> Everybody's hugging each other. The way it should this be. This is awkward. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I don't know. Why do people have to hate? I don't know. It's it's an odd question. It is, though. I, f- I find it ridiculous. Yeah. Like, why can't why can't we all just get along? Somebody didn't love you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My dad used to say something about that. I can't remember what it was. He was my dad was kind of like um, like Bobby Boucher's mom. 
always had a little quote about something. Yep. And I remember a few of them, but not many. <laughs> as, as long as you remember some. I, I'm trying to think of them. I can't remember right now. Ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not. No. Oh, man, it's done. Yeah. It goes quick. 16 ounces. Not enough. That's yeah, okay. What are you looking forward to this year? Uh, moving. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, finally setting down permanent roots this time. Yeah? In Oregon. Like a hard, like dig it into the ground. Well, I plan on buying my own property and building my own house, so yeah. That's pretty substantial. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> There's nothing like uh, Pacific Northwest. I've been meaning to get out there. Well, you're going to have to now. Scott's going to come. Oh, yeah? Yep. Is uh, his sister lives in Eugene. Oh, cool. So he's going to cut him and Ben are going to come out and visit. And uh, Ooh, we're maybe have we'll have a road party. trip. Yeah. Like a party bus. It's like 28 hours, man. Yeah, everybody takes turns. I have to, I have to, <laughs> it's like 28 hours that I have to drive. Jeez. Yeah. Well, I mean, you'll split was, it up probably between a few days, right? Uh, like three, two, three days, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But I'm looking, I'm going to start getting into like, as we were talking about earlier, uh, building your own furniture. Yes. And because you got some projects coming up on that with a shop and I got some projects that I'm going to do at home. By well, shop you know, and home. Yeah. I, once I get into like a project mode, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do all the things. <laughs> It's like, I can make this. I can make these things. I can make all the things. Oh, you want one? I'm going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> I do, do a new dining time. table and do yeah. cabinets in the shop. It's going to be fun. Cabinets are cool. I'm going to build a Nordic style medieval bookshelf. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to have That'd like the two, you know, like you always see like the tents with the crossed uh, mares. Yeah. On the top. I'm going to do that, but on the sides coming up. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. nice. Get back into my crafting because I, I have not done any crafting this year and it's been driving me nuts. Yeah, I know you, you brought your forge with you. Yeah, and yeah, didn't even get that set up. No, I'm just I get I get home and I'm just it's like just been I'm sitting so there. tired. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> How, well, well, first it was too hot. Now right. it's too cold. Yeah, welcome to Chicago. Oh, like, <laughs> it's like okay, I knew in California that it was going to be hot no matter what. I got used to that. Yeah. I got used to that. Okay, it's hot outside. I'm used to that. There's no time to adjust out here. No. Every day is different. Yeah. It's going to be 50 something It's like you said, it can go from 30 to like 10 in like five minutes. Yep. I've never experienced that in my life. (laughs) There's a saying that always comes up when people are out of town. They're like, yeah, you don't like the the weather? Wait five minutes. (laughs) Five minutes. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just build my own stuff, man. Just tight, you know. You never find anything good in the stores that you like, and you never find anything that really suits your style. So you're just like, I'm just gonna freaking build it. Or sometimes you do, and it's just insanely expensive. Yeah, that too. And he goes like, I can just go to the hardware store, and I can buy just some wood and do it myself. Yeah, which I've done before. You know, I build stuff all the time. My my house is like. It was basically just a workshop. Like if we didn't have a tool, it didn't exist. You know, hmm. that's the way. Well, my dad is a tool hoarder, so that makes sense. Some people hoard junk. My dad hoards tools. At least that's and like a productive and junk. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be in there too. But at least it's a kind of a productive hoarding. Well, because he'll save like, uh, let's say, like a piece of a lamp or something, and he'll have it in a in a drawer for like ten years. Just waiting to use it. And then something will happen and be like, I have that. And then spend <laughs> 20 minutes trying to find it. And then he'll tear apart the garage. I found it. And then he'll fix it. It is insane. <laughs> but that's the way he is. <laughs> there's, there's like a, there's a poetry to that. In a sense. Poetry? Yeah. Okay. You never know. He's always being prepared. True. Like, it's it's definitely an extreme of that. No, that's just him. But, you know. 
He's I could talk about him for hours though. Seriously, that man is. Insane. Are they going to come back out here? No, no, we're before? doing this one entirely by ourselves. No? Oh, we're shipping my car, which turned out to be hmm. super freaking expensive because nobody goes that way. It's like, oh, you yeah. want to go like from L.A. to Chicago? Sure, it's like six hundred bucks. Oh, you want to go here to Oregon? It's twelve hundred. Why? We don't really go that way. Okay, fine. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> you save extra money. Oh, well, it's fine though. Because, you know, we're just doing it by ourselves. So now we're just the two of us in the moving truck. Yeah. Which is, which is pretty cool. We've done the drive before. Just an extra, extra 10 hours, I think. Yeah, because of the, the mm-hmm. time zones. Well, from my house in San Dimas just to the Oregon border mm-hmm. is 10 hours. <laughs> wow. That's how big California is. Mm-hmm. Damn. 10 hours alone just to get from my house from LA, like around LA to the border. Cause I've done it twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause Illinois from North to South is about six and a half, seven. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize that. Yeah, like I felt like I feel like it was like five, six hours coming from here. I thought I was coming up. I don't remember when I was coming here, but I thought (laughs) I came up from like the bottom of Illinois. I just came from the side, and it was like five hours. I'm like, what the hell? (laughs) It's a weird shaped state. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. California's a weird shaped state too. They're all weird shaped. Nothing except for Wyoming. It's just a square. Most well, most of the center states are squares, pretty much. Yeah, and then well, Florida looks like a dick. <laughs> Did you see that game got... where they shrunk it? It's like it's cold oh, in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Memes, they're golden sometimes. They really are. <laughs> Some of them hit. I have people who will send me like blocks of memes, like 30 or more, like in, in <laughs> one block. Just here you go. You spend the next five minutes flipping my, through these. My friend Patrick has an entire album of just Spider-Man memes. Just Spider-Man? Just Spider-Man memes, like from the old <laughs> 60s cartoon or 70s, whatever it was. And they are freaking amazing, some of them. Well, I mean, they've done the, they've done Batman ones too. Oh God, Batman ones. That's Batman good. with the slap. Oh, the slap one. That is like that one gets used a lot. A lot, yeah, by everybody. <laughs> the slap. I like gifs. Gifs. I don't know how you pronounce gifs. Them. Gifs. 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 It doesn't matter. Jiffy pops. <laughs> I'm gonna call them Jiffy pops now. There you go. <laughs> Send me a Jiffy Pop. <laughs> I don't know. I find that, like, if you notice, when I comment on stuff, I always use those. Yeah. Because they're funnier to me. You can convey more. Yes, definitely. And I always have one specific in mind. Do you ever sit there for, like, 10 minutes trying to find the perfect one? Sometimes. Oh, I do. I mean, I have. I'm like, yes, I have the perfect one, and I spend 10 minutes trying to find it. If I can't find it on, like, the regular ones, I, I Google it. <laughs> That's what Google's for. And then I'll make it. <laughs> Just for finding things. I'll find a blank one and I'll make it. I make memes all the time. My, uh, our friend Tim is a... just. My God, I don't know how many memes we've made off of him. We have a new one. He took he took a, like a selfie picture of all of us at Rock House. And he's making this weird face. And uh, <laughs> I wish I could show it. But um, <laughs> it's basically just like... He's, he lips curled up real tight. And so somebody zoomed in on the picture of just his face and it is horrifying. So I made a meme and said, when you see your flapjacks coming. <laughs> <laughs> so it almost looks like he's biting his lip. And uh, cause he loves flapjacks. <laughs> Does he call them flapjacks? He calls them flapjacks. He calls them flapjacks. I love that. <laughs> I've always flapjacks. been a fan of griddle cakes. Griddle cakes. I've never heard that. Yeah. The, I always just say pancakes. What's wrong with pancakes? Do you make them in a pan? Sometimes. 
I make them on a griddle. <laughs> so they're griddle cakes. What if you make them on a George Foreman? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would they be called Foremans? What if, what if? What about a skillet? Skillet cakes? Ooh, skillet cakes. Yeah. I'm not fancy like that, though. <laughs> I'll make a large batch. I'll make like 30 or more. Oh, my God. I can eat like yeah. two. Well, then I'm good for like a few weeks. It's just too much. You freeze them. <laughs> freeze, freeze pancake. Oh, yeah. I guess you could. Yeah. You let them cool down. You throw them in a Ziploc or like a big Tupperware tub. You I had pull, never thought Pull a couple that. out, put them in your toaster. Boom. How small are they? They fit in your toaster. You can make them however big you want. <laughs> who, who makes you make pancakes them, that small? You make them big enough to fit in there. And then you can like, you can scramble some eggs make, and throw some bacon. And then boom. <laughs> a little syrup. It's your own homemade McGriddle. <laughs> and it tastes way better. That's genius. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Thanksgiving stuffing. Okay. Put it in your waffle iron. <laughs> it's like a, a crispy, savory it's a stuff stuff, waffle. stuffing waffle. <laughs> it's amazing. Did you feel stuffed afterwards? I did. I ate like four. That's what she said. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've seen that though, where people like take tater tots and put them on a freaking waffle iron. I'm like, that is genius. Yeah. That is genius. It's not just for waffles. I know. We, when you I was a kid, for so my neighbor had things. one of those grilled cheese makers and yeah. we used to put like just chocolate, like just Straight chocolate and chocolate. bread. <laughs> Well, because a Dutch thing is, um, I, how do you pronounce it? Hagelslag. It's uh, it's literally sure. just just toast. Not, not no, not toast. Raw bread with butter and chocolate sprinkles. Huh. It's amazing, but you have to buy it. You can buy it uh, like from a well, like a Dutch bakery supplier or whatever. Yeah. There, there was one growing up that used to deliver to our house, and it's literally a box with a spout on the side. So you just put butter on some bread and just sprinkle it on there, man. It was awesome. Huh. Was I'm going to have to try that. So we used to, just, we used to put like a whole mound in there and put it in the fucking grilled cheese maker. <laughs> like a panini press. Yeah. It would like, it would cut it in the, the triangle shape already and like the crust would come off. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> did it cut the crust off for you too? It did. God damn. It's kind of sad. It's like a machine for kids without parents. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) That's horrible. (laughs) Johnny, what did you eat today? Grilled cheese. What did you eat yesterday? Grilled cheese. (laughs) Why do you love that machine so much? It cuts off the crust for me like mom used to. (laughs) Oh. I'm sorry, that's bad. <laughs> I, I have a dark sense of humor. <laughs> I think everybody's got a dark sense of humor. I love it's it. Just it's just whether the best. whether you that's how you deal embrace with stuff. it or not. Oh my god, I was at um, funerals. That you don't laugh at funerals, right? Not my family. No, you can laugh at funerals. I want oh people to laugh at my funeral. So uh, we were at uh, my grandma's funeral and. Um, the church bell started playing, was it, um, Hava Maria? Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. And I'm sitting there. Aren't and you from really California? Sad. Don't you know Spanish? What? Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Not Jave. Is it Italian? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Can I finish? <laughs> okay. Um, so anyways, that song's playing. It's Everybody's dead quiet. And then um, I get a nudge from... Uh, Tiff next to me and I look over and my sister's looking at me and she mouths Boat's nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. And it was so hard not to laugh. 
at a funeral. Oh my God. Nothing is sacred. But that's how you deal with things, you know? You laugh. <laughs> I want my funeral to just be like a full blown party. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. I want like ice luge vodka shots for everyone. What are you, a frat boy? Funeral party. <laughs> Dude, I want blowout party. Just like everybody there. Out of live cannon? music. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> like uh, like Hunter Thompson? That was awesome. That was pretty cool. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I want, to be honest. No? No idea. I've never... No. I, I think about it. I just... I want to make people laugh. That's it. I've always liked making people laugh, so... I'm going to leave it up to my friends, even though I know it's going to be something insane, but I trust them. <laughs> well, you'll be dead, so... Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It, it really doesn't matter at that point. It doesn't. As long as they get a laugh out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's like, like, Frank, just throw me in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I love trash. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. That's great. You can have a rum ham. Rum ham. Didn't wasn't there a guy who actually made it? Yeah, he's uh, he does a YouTube thing. That's right. There's a guy who he, made that. He recreates um, binging with Babish. <laughs> That's what it I is. I see. He made he made milk steak, and he did, uh, it was a whole sunny episode. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. I gotta, get, I gotta watch more of those. I remember that, yeah. Everyone I've seen so far has been fantastic. Because <laughs> he tries the way it's made in the show, and then it's like god awful. And then he's just like, okay, here's my way. Yeah. That's amazing. And then those look really good, and I want to make them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What's um, some, some stuff in shows look really good, and then it's like someone just, what the hell is that? I'm trying to think of mostly they come from Sunny, but. Yeah, it's, it's mostly that show. Oh. Jelly beans? But yeah. Really? <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason. It's supposed <laughs> to be awful. Well, it's Charlie. Exactly. <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, um, a peanut butter Charlie or whatever it was? A grilled Charlie. Oh, man. That one's not bad. Grilled. Yo, you've made one? Well, the, the other one. The Babish Twist. Oh, okay. You made his I've tried, I've tried a couple of them. They're, they're not awful. Not awful. Okay. I have to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, New Year, I'm gonna make stuff. Yeah. I, I, it's time. Yeah. I hate, you know what? I've gotten to that point where I, I'm like getting sick of TV. It's just like, all I do is watch TV. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a slave. Yeah. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna burn it. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. I'll be like a hippie. Yeah, Burn just go, TV. go full off the grid. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to come visit you because you won't tell anybody your address. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be latitude and longitude. <laughs> <laughs> just coordinates. I love it. Here's a compass and coordinates. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> there is no trail. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I haven't uh, thought about that too. That's great. Like just, I would love to do that, but honestly, I don't know. You need you need some amenities. It's a it's like it's a goal to be self sufficient, but not too far out of reach. Because that would yeah. suck. That would really suck. <laughs> I know people who would totally just drop everything and go and live that way. If I got like totally fed up with society, I would do it. If it got crazy to where like you know what. I'm done. <laughs> I go grab a backpack and an axe and just walk out in the woods. Yeah. Probably illegal, but <laughs> what is probably illegal? what isn't illegal nowadays? <laughs> Everything is and isn't. It's it's illegal if you believe it. Is that I, how laws work now? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I firmly believe that. It's only illegal because they tell you it is. Oh, God. <laughs> Society's doomed. Uh, it, well, it's already doomed, but no, it's not. 
the, I don't know. That's just my philosophy. It's only, you know, can't let people keep you down too much. Yeah. Because that's how things get done. I remember um, one time, <laughs> one time we were redoing uh, something at my house, right? And we had just finished. And then we got a notice from the, from the freaking city saying, you have to cease all construction. We're like, we're yeah. already done. <laughs> So we kind of just threw it in the trash and laughed at it, and nothing ever happened. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing the Krampus Knocked. Thanks for Krampus Knocked. Mm-hmm. Krampus Knocked. Krampus Knocked. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, very it's, good. It's good. It was very good. Uh, thanks for being on the show. I'm happy. That was amazing. Yeah. I, I've done podcasts before, so this is fun. Yeah. Uh, I will see you tomorrow then. That's right. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, not even doing anything. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for having me on. No Enjoy. Good night. Goodbye. Valley voice. So uh, I wanted to end the podcast tonight with uh, an idea that I had the other day. I was thinking about the podcast and I'm like, oh, I want to add something funny. It's a Shakespearean type poem. What is thou that stings thy nostrils like the stench of a rotting corpse? What a fleshly tossed chamber pot? Tis fart thicket. <laughs> what is thou that impregnates itself betwixt thine teeth like the tendons of a mutton shank or the clench hair from a woman of the night who has not bathed in a fortnight? Tis fart thicket! What is thou <laughs> that makes thine stomach turn and curdle like old milk or a queasy as a drunk <laughs> drunker spewing his entrails into the... <laughs> The bucket of an old fish pail. Tis fart thicket. Done.